Hello, welcome once again. Um, if you've ever worked in automotive, and I'm sure you have, you always come across different size bolts, metric, standard, and today, usually in our vehicles, we've adopted the standards of metric more. So, we're going to discuss the different styles and different ramifications for bolts, metric, and standards, so we understand the basics. Your typical bolt over here has a head. That has a certain size to it, obviously. The thread goes from here to here in this example. In this example, the thread is less. It goes from here to here. On a stud, where you, let's say on your wheels, where you put your lung nuts and all that, look where all the thread is going, all the way up to down. You have more threads over here. When you have more threads, that means you want more resistance, and you want, you want that bolt to be able to take more stress. Obviously a wheel, you know, spinning and hitting vibrations has to go through a lot of stress. As opposed to, let's say if you put a compressor, if you take a compressor out, you'll only have like a few threads on it halfway. So it depends on obviously the application, where it is in, in, in the car. Obviously the more stress, the more vibration, we go with something that has more threads on it. Let's look at the example. Now, standard. We're going to start from, from standard. Standard, you can always identify by the markings. There's no numbers on it. So these are the markings. One, two, three, three lines, let's say. That is the grade quality of it. How much strength it can take and how much strength it can give. So obviously, the more markings, the greater strength of that bolt now, definition-wise, this is called, obviously, the head. This is called the bolt head wrench size. So let's say this is a 3 8 bolt. I'm going to use, obviously, a socket for 3 8 So this determines which socket you're going to use. The bolt diameter, the bolt diameter is, obviously, not this, but from here to here, as you see in this example. So, as you can see, it's less than the actual bolt head, but it's more than actual the tread, uh, uh, tread length. Okay? You see, it's bigger than this, but obviously smaller than this, obviously. Okay? Now, the bolt length is everything, including the bolt diameter and all the threads that go with it. So, obviously, as you can see in this example, from here, from here, to here, including all the threads. How do we measure? For obviously standard, we go by the pitch is how many threads per inch. So here's an inch, here's the ruler, okay? Thread pitch. How many in here? If we actually go and count, that will be how many there are in here, whatever there are here, 13, 14 per inch, that will be the thread pit, pitch for standard. So, as you can see over here, this has a lot of threads on it. An inch is here, from here, and again, thread pitch is from here to here, okay? Now, let's elaborate on that even more. We just spoke about the threads of that bolt. We can go as much as we want. So in other words, here's the, here's the same bolt, okay? From here to here is a half inch, from this to this. This is called coarse, which means for one pitch, for one inch, the threads are close, but not as close as a fine one. Now you see the threads, they're getting closer. We can even go higher than that. We could go to extra fine. Now compare all of them. So we went from here. To this one look at the difference incredible right this has 13 per inch okay Th threads 13 per threads this has 20 this has 28 this has double more threads than this one so which you think is more secure this one obviously so that's that as you can see now let's go to the other one so we just discussed about standard 
right? United States standard ones that we use, customized ones. We spoke that the pitch is actually how many there are, in, how many threads there are in an inch. The book, the textbook, tells us number of threads per inch. How many? Thirteen. So this is the number of thirteen. How many there are? If you if you count from here to here, you'll count thirteen. That's how we go by standard. Okay. Metric is is a totally different animal. Okay. Now. Yes, here's metric. We don't go by inch. <clears throat> we say thread pitch is from one thread to another thread in millimeters. So from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. You see this? From here to here. That's how we define metric. So... As you see over here, this is between threads and millimeters. So 1.75, guess what? Is millimeters between this pitch, this thread, and this thread. That's the pitch. Way different than this. Way different. Here we have 13. Here we have between one to the other. Okay? Now, let's look. We just talked about the markings. This is the graph. Not the graph. This is the the, uh, um, the the description of standard. As we spoke before, the more markings, right? The more stronger the bolt is, the strength of it is. So for commercial, we use this. For best quality, we use all these markings. We're talking about standard, obviously. Now, this is what I found that we use in automotive, and this is pretty helpful. You're going to come across different kinds of bits that you have to use. We'll talk about screws over here and bolts. Obviously, we know the standard, the typical one. Look at the shape of it is the Phillips, okay? Nothing new about that. We've been using it all our lives. Then we have something called a clutch head. You see this? You see, look at the pattern of the bit. A little different than this, obviously. Okay? That's the pattern that you're going into with the bit. Then you go into a square socket. This is square. That's this, and you need this kind of bit. Now, you, you use, in automotive, quite often, an Allen head. As you can see, the shape of it and the bit. Now, the typical one we've always been using all our lives is the slotted one. Right, the flat one, we call it, right? It goes in this one, okay? Now, <clears throat> we have something called cross-slotted. You have it all over. So actually, you could go in this way, that way, this way, with the, with the a flat. Now, this one, there is no connection here. This is not used that much. But there is one of it one-way slotted. You see this coming out over here? That means we could go in flat, over here, but it'll hold the bit a little more secure. Now, if you've ever seen a bit, a, a screwdriver, if I can draw a screwdriver, okay, this is the tip of it. Sometimes you see lines on the, on the bottom of that screwdriver. That is a purpose for that. That means when you have lines on it, that means it's gonna hold that screwdriver better in that slotted slot on that screw so it doesn't slip off many times you have these metal ones or uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, screwdrivers you put it in a slot and it slips off when you have these ridges or whatever they call them it holds on to the bolt and you don't slip off those are the best type of <clears throat> excuse me screwdrivers okay now we come to this one over here also looks like it's flat, not used that much. We come to the more typical ones. We come to a, he a hex, which we just spoke about. Used, obviously, with a wrench very, very often, obviously, in automotive. Then we have something called the flat one. You see, it's flat around. Different sizes. Then we use something called the Torx. Torx is pretty popular also. For European cars and all those, sometimes on uh, pads and, and calipers, see the see the different one. It looks like a star, 
And this one also looks like a star, but it has more ridges on it to catch it. So these are the different types of screws that you have to put up with when you do automotive work, obviously. <clears throat> now, remember one thing. When you go into aluminum, you always have to put a compound into it. An anti-seize formula, you always have to put that into it. Now, the other thing is about the nuts, different types of nuts. Slotted castle, we use this quite often. Wings, we use this quite often. Hex, obviously, we use this, obviously, uh, all the time. These are the different types of, of nut, uh, um, nuts that we use. So, <clears throat> now, one more thing. <clears throat> How do we know something is <clears throat> metric? You have the numbers on it. You don't have the markings on it. Remember, this, this is standard. This is metric. The higher the number, obviously the, the stronger the bolt strength. So remember, metric is this. The other one, when you see the bars or the lines, whatever, those are standard. Of course, you can use uh, metric sometimes in standard. And, and sometimes reverse, they're pretty close together. So depending on what you're using, you always got to use metric pretty much nowadays on these vehicles. Okay, so keep try to keep that in mind. All right, so remember pitch strength important. The bowl head obviously is important. The number of it is important. And remember, always use the right tool for the right purpose. So anyway. Uh, please go to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto, where I'll have probably more conversion tables from metric to standard, so you know which type to use. Obviously, they're interchangeable sometimes. Um, so anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope this was informative.